Hello, this is Drone10395, another homemade video. So my homemade air cannon. Um, this will not be a shooting test. This will be just showing off the rounds that I use in this. Uh, not really how to make them, but if you can figure out how to make them, then I guess it is a how-to video. But <clears throat> it just shows what I shoot out of the uh, air cannon, what the round does, uh, and what it what its purpose is, what materials it can penetrate, or what it... Um, or how far it goes. Um, but before I get to that, I'll just give a brief overview of my air cannon. This is inch PVC pipe. If you can see all this black stuff, it's inch PVC with a straighter valve, I believe it is called in the end, from AutoZone. It can hold up to this if it can hold up to a car, so that's why I got it. I didn't want an air compressor one because I don't have an air compressor, and a bike pump is you can use it anywhere. You can use it in the middle of an airsoft battle. That's why I chose that. And I have my ball valve, not a sprinkler valve or nothing. If you know how to do, you, yeah, if you know how to do your air cannons, uh, simply because you kind of want to have, kind of wanted to have the stock on it, and the sprinkler valve just wouldn't really work. So I well, to shoot this, all I do is. Quickly flick it forward. If you don't do it fast enough, like that, then uh, you won't get the full effect of the air, and, it, and the uh, the payload will just fall out of the end of the barrel. It won't it won't do what it's supposed to do. So, also named it the black hole. Pretty, pretty cool name. Um, so yeah, this is my air cannon with a little muzzle brake on the front, all those holes. Which isn't good if you're shooting fruit out of it because it explodes in your face and well I guess it's good because it tastes good but anyways off that this is uh actually they'll say the best for last uh some of the stuff I shoot out of this is mostly wood I'm kind of going into metal and PVC now this is uh, a broomstick obviously trimmed it just goes through the air it's not aerodynamic so it tends to flip so it's not a direct hit that you're gonna get the tip to hit uh, your target but it's fun to shoot um, yeah but before I tell you anything else about any more of my rounds don't shoot or if you have one of these at your house if you're going to make one if you're going to make one of my rounds don't shoot this at anyone or anything living simply because I'm sure this will do a lot of damage um, to the person or people or persons uh, so treat it like a real weapon, never point it at your friends, never look down the barrel, just your basic gun knowledge. Um, so here's another round, which was originally for my crossbow right here. Uh, by the way, I have a trigger mechanism on it now. It's just a bungee rope. And then, see the trigger? Uh, ADD, sorry. But that... That's kind of an update, I guess. But um, all you do is put packing foam right here and right here. So that it'll catch all of the air. And the packing foam falls away because it has no mass. It'll just fall out of the sky. And then this will go, this bolt will go probably 400 feet. I've tested it once. I shot it straight up. And it went a block north because of the wind. And it 400, at least 400 feet up. It went super, super, super high. So, this one's really fun to shoot, but very hard to find. Uh, that's that. Another one is a wooden dowel. One inch wooden dowel. Just flips in the air. Has no purpose. Just fun to shoot. And goes pretty far. Like 200 feet. Um, another one of my wooden payloads is this uh, one inch wooden dowel. You uh, you put like nine of these in the barrel, probably along here, with foam packing it at each end, so that it catches all the air, and then it spans out in air like a buckshot, um, so it can hit multiple targets or whatever. So that's what this is. I've never tested it, but I know it'll work because it's just kind of basic knowledge, because that's what this does um, if you put more than one in the barrel. Uh, another one of my wooden things, my last wooden wooden payload is this. It's a wooden dowel 
kind of nice and uh, rounded at the front. It's dull, it's not sharp. Um, it's got a hook in the back so you can put like a streamer on this, uh, fishing line, whatever you want to hook up to the back of this, you can do it. Um, let's do this guy now. This has no purpose, it only goes about 100 feet. It's a two pound metal weight out of the stock of one of my cheap airsoft guns, my shotgun. Um, I put it in the barrel with the foam, like this, or you can't see that. It'll look like this in the barrel if you could see see inside. And then it gives you a kick. More If you, if you shot a gun before, it's more than a 22. But I can't really compare it to anything else because I've only shot a 12 gauge and a 22, no other guns. Um, I have a video on that if you want to check it out too. But this is it. It gives it a kick. It's just fun to shoot just simply because it has a kick. It just makes you feel like you're shooting a real gun and it's legal because it's an air cannon. Um, let's go to this, this guy. This is armor piercing. Not really armor, but it can pierce up to half inch um, plywood. I've never tested it above half inch because I don't have anything thicker than half inch plywood. Although I don't think it'll go through three quarter or inch plywood. Uh, it goes through, just lodges itself. Beyond that, it does nothing else. These flights are for stabilizing it in flight. So, that's that. And then this piece of wood holds the stake in here and by the way it's a sharpened steel stake uh, I cut it with a hacksaw and then I sharpened it um, but yeah this that's all this uh, wood here does really it's uh, this was another originally designed for my crossbow to sit there and then to launch it it goes about mm, 75 feet with the crossbow it, the crossbow has diminished range because it's not a real crossbow, it's not a compound bow or nothing like that. It's just a bungee rope. So, it's that. Um, my original armor piercer was this guy. Uh, electrical tape for flights on a 3 inch dry, dry wall screw with threaded front. Obviously it's a screw. So, once it goes through its target, which when I tested it was this wood. Quarter inch plywood. You can see some some holes it's made right here, right here. I've shot it at this wood multiple times. Let's put this guy down. All right, it's probably gonna fall, but all right, we'll just let you fall. But uh, it goes through that. It lodges itself, and like my other round I just showed you, has no no purpose beyond that. Um, since these flights have it stabilized. And when I put this foam here, it catches all the air, and it goes like 200 feet plus accurately and fast. Uh, you do have to arc it uh, because it's kind of a heavy, not really heavy, but it's bigger than usual, so it tends to lean a little bit more in flight. Um, and then my most, most recent run I've made, I made it last weekend, is this. It is armor piercing, and once it pierces the armor, it sprays BBs. Uh, how I did this, it's really cool. Uh, how I did this was I took a barrel, not from an airsoft gun, I just found it in my garage. It just happened to fit BBs, so I put BBs in it. It's steel, not brass or that composite metal that you get in the crappy airsoft gun. Where brass isn't bad, but composite is. How this round works is... I'm going to demonstrate with cardboard, but it can penetrate wood up to half inch. Um, this round right here, um, it will, I will shoot it at my wood or my target, whatever I'm shooting at. Um, it will penetrate the wood or my target, go through, this piece of tape will stop it in its tracks, stop right there. The BBs will come flying out of the barrel and into the uh, target that I shot it at. Um, it does this because I've sharpened the barrel slightly, if you can't tell. I have sharpened it with a metal file. Um, but to keep the BBs from falling out in mid-flight, I put a little bit of uh, uh, yeah, painter's tape or masking tape on the front. And then 
once it hits the wood, since this is sharp enough, it'll break the tape seal. The tape will uh, come off, stay in the wood, or get lodged in the wooden hole. And then the babies will be free to, to, to shoot out with the momentum. So it'll, it'll penetrate. One of my most recent rounds is this. Uh, not armor piercing by any means. Um, I'm going to use this piece of cardboard here in a second. But um, this is loaded up right now. With about 100 BBs, a bunch of uh, scrap BBs I found in my backyard because it's, they don't need to be perfect for this. But I put a uh, half, inch, half inch PVC, um, about 3 inches long. Uh, I put these paper flights on the back, not paper, but um, masking tape flights on the back. So it stays perfectly steady when it's in the air. It'll go straight like that. And then it'll hit its target. Um, what this round does is kind of like a grenade that bursts on impact. It, um, once it hits your target, what I built this to do is, like, say there's a door that's half open, there's, like, just enough for this to get through. We'll pretend this is a cracked open door right now. Um, the round is coming in, it hits this, and the, and the door would be wooden or metal, so it'll be enough to stop this. Um, it'll hit this, ricochet off. The tape will break its seal once it impacted, because the tape can't hold up to, like, 300 FPS piece of probably like uh, I don't know half a pound of BBs and plastic probably less but you get the point it'll uh, stop the, the tape will break all the hundred or so BBs will just come flying out with a lot of momentum enough to where you would feel it um, and then this would just fall on the ground so the doors open impact ricochet BBs explode